What's your favorite position? What's your dream place to have sex? Did you ever have to take a plan B? You could choose a rapper to be his girlfriend for a week. Who would it be and why? What's the most boldest thing you've done sexually or physically? How many bodies you have? Or do you like giving or receiving? Like I said, we not faking no more orgasms, bro. Like we not doing that. So yeah, get it right or get up. Like, bye. Uh-oh back again what's up fellas gang it is your girl miss marie and i'm back with a brand new video so today is going to be a very interesting video if i must say um it's been a minute since we dropped like a banger like otherwise than like hair like that'd be burning me out so it's time to get back to the content that we want to run up and really just put out the content you guys would really want to watch your girl gonna put herself in a hot seat answer some questions that y'all want to know about me and we're going to see what they said. I asked y'all on Instagram um, for some questions of what you guys want to ask me. So if you do not follow me on Instagram, please do it. It's linked below. You get the direct link straight to Instagram. Make sure I hit that follow button so you guys do not miss out on any opportunities like this for questions or, you know, days in my life. Because I'm running one of them next week. So follow me, y'all. If y'all would like to be a part of that, you guys control my life for 24 hours. Make sure y'all follow me right now. Pause the video and follow me right now. While you're doing that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the Fallis Gang. We are on the way to 100k. We almost at 90, y'all. This is insane. I cannot believe that we're growing this rapid. Like, y'all are literally the best. I love y'all so much. It's insane how much I love y'all. Seriously. We locked in forever. Like, hey, what we life. is? For lifer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get into these questions. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what y'all want to know about miss marie okay oh lord we getting spicy too so get y'all a little snack a little drink and sit back and stay tuned y'all let's go and get into the video Ooh, all right we're gonna start with a real spicy one first <laughs> so the question is a two and one so she said first what's your favorite position and what's your dream place to have sex oh okay so the first one definitely back shots that's my favorite that's my favorite position it just hits so different like i'm sorry that's the best position ever but i also love riding that's another thing i love like i'm really like what yeah riding and back shots my two favorite things but if i had to pick one definitely back shots and then she said what's your favorite dream place to have sex balcony 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 500 lx i'll take the prison for 200 alex <laughs> like please like that is a place that i want to experience that i'm sorry it just his different like first of all we're not even from here anyway so like what oy, 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 oy. yeah on the balcony with it yeah <laughs> but yeah that's some place i don't want to do it but yeah period how many bodies you have i got this question like asked like probably like 10 times so i'm gonna just answer it now so i had two bodies but i now have three so yeah your girl got three bodies and that's the end of that so now i cleared the air for y'all yeah now y'all know <laughs> y'all are freaky bro <laughs> um what's the last time you've done the do and can you say hey ray hey ray oh girl child <laughs> um mm. i'm gonna keep it a bean i want a whole year without it being involved with nobody like nothing for a whole year uh but i would say like what's well, gonna be like three weeks this week so yeah like three weeks ago so yeah it's my last time i did the do all right let me jump around a little bit and do some other questions then we'll come back to like the spicy stuff that y'all really want to know so um what is the spiciest wings you ever ate honestly i don't really try like a lot of like different wing flavors i really should possibly but i'm a mild girl to heart so i would say mild is probably the hottest i tried but i really want to try some other wings um applebee's hands down got the best wings and i'm we, that's not up for the beat we not going to start this like the applebee's got the best wings best bonus wings ever like i swear they go over everybody wing stop buffalo wild wings they over them so yeah but mild for sure i haven't tried anything else but what what flavor should i try y'all since y'all be into the wings and stuff what flavor should i try that's like hot 
so y'all let me know but yes yeah, mild had to be my hottest <laughs> Ooh, if you could choose a rapper to be his girlfriend for a week who would it be and why oh lord like mm. <laughs> i always thought like i always wondered like how it would be with a rapper like i always thought like you know dating rap would be fun but you know you still gonna cry in the car <laughs> that's the only downside i don't want to do that so like but you have to know like they just be rentals for real like you gotta you know it's your turn like that's about it like you feel me it's very few rappers that really like really serious with somebody that they just like you know do run a movie <laughs> but um wow if i had to pick a rapper to be his girlfriend for a week who would it be and why hmm see me like i like philly nigga that's just <laughs> that's just i'm sorry but like but I said in my trooper drink though, like y'all, y'all cool for the moment, y'all fun and all that, but y'all not meant to be kept long term, and that is true. But I don't know why I'm just naturally gravitated to like Philly nigga. That's just what it is. Like, and I'm like North and West nigga. That's the, really the only niggas I be talking to. Like, it's it's crazy, but I love Philly nigga. They're just me. So I'm trying to think of some Philly rappers that like I would talk to, but like I probably won't talk to none of them. I don't know. I don't know. But if I had to pick a rapper that's out of any of them, I'm gonna say Baby because he's my personal favorite or meek i would say meek or baby they're both my favorite rapper my favorite rapper of all time is meek so meek or baby um <laughs> baby i'm gonna say baby because i love him so much he's one of my favorite rappers and i just feel like he's super fun even though you know he do be disloyal and all that <laughs> but he he handled the business like you know treat them right period so get get you what you want feel me so i would have to say baby but oh you know what? i didn't even throw about i didn't even think about 2c i know how i love 2c so <sighs> it's between baby or 2c i'm sorry like i between either one of them i love them both so either between 2c and baby that's probably my choice but i just i just feel like they both just like fun even though you know they get you like nice things you know all that i just feel like they just Cool to be around have fun you know not here for a long time you know but yeah all right next question is would you smash a native dude so when you say native do you mean like native american is that what you're referring to when you say native i'm gonna just say that because i really don't know what like other term native would mean so if we talk about a native american guy i never like it never came to my head like yeah i'm gonna date a native person but i mean if he was attractive and i you know thought he was handsome or whatever and you know just the vibe we click yeah i had no problem I, i'm not i don't discriminate against no race i feel like people just be thinking i like black guys and that's not true like i would date somebody white i would date somebody hispanic i would date somebody that's african nigerian like oh wait hold on now they said nigerians and stuff is crazy hold on <laughs> wait I would date any race if the vibe was there and I find you attractive. Cause I one thing about me, like I'm not gonna be with somebody I'm not physically attracted to. I gotta be a phys I gotta be attracted to you sexually, physically, and all. I can't be with somebody I'm just not attracted to. So I can't be fake like that and just like you know, act like I'm with somebody because you know they got money. I don't care. I got my own money, so I don't really care about none of that. Like I'm not impressed by that. Like growing up spoiled, you don't be impressed by that. But i wouldn't have no problem dating somebody native if you know they're handsome like i said and i like them and they treat me right you know spoil me and all that how i'm supposed to be treated then yeah i had no problem being with a native person that's a good question though. i never you know thought about that like i said nothing came to my mind like yeah let me date a native person it never came to my mind but you know that's a good question so i probably would though if he if he was attractive i like him you know what's the most boldest thing you've done sexually or physically oh ah. Uh, <laughs> don't really do a lot of bold things like physically because i just be like you know in my own lane i'm not really like a wild type of girl like i don't do all that like i just really be about my business like i stay to myself and all that like i carry myself like a lady so i don't just be wilding but i'll speak on the sexual because that's more like a story i could tell <laughs> or like speak of something i could speak about that was bold um i 69 bro oh Ew, dude. i ain't go six nine bro i did it and yeah that would have to be 
what she said that would have to be the boldest thing i've done sexually with somebody six nine bro like what that was crazy bro i'm telling you one thing about me like i don't like there's a lot of girls that are like really like put their sexual presence on the media that's just not me i'm not that type of girl like i'm not gonna like let everybody know what i be on and like spoil my body all crazy and just you know i want niggas to fall in love with me as a person like my face like i want you to be like interested in me as a person not just my body or something like that you feel me so i don't there's a lot of girls that just you know just overly sexual on social media and that's just not me like i don't you know i don't do that that's just not me because i want the person that i'm with for it to be special like you know like, here come the ice cream truck mr softy nobody want none of that nasty ice cream i'm just saying that ruined your whole stomach like now i have to stop and wait for him to go down the street like this is burning me out come on now dog come on man there we go like please leave like that nasty ice cream nobody want that but anyway back to the question <laughs> he always want to come down the street and give that nasty ice cream out like now nah, you know better like mr softy is not it be cool and stuff, but it just mess your stomach up. That soft serve ice cream, that, that don't be it. Like, I learned my lesson years ago. I don't eat that. Like, I can't eat that soft serve stuff. Same thing with Rita's. They custard run right through me, bro. Like, it make my stomach hurt so bad. Y'all, I... Now I might want to rethink my rapper. Because I forgot my bookie, like... Kentrell Garden. Like, I didn't even... Please but that man is married so never mind never fact never mind, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> he married he married do you like giving or receiving mm, that's a good one um me so i have to say i'm more of a receive type girl like that's just i love hey like that's just me like that right there like that is my thing like what that's probably my favorite thing like i'm telling you besides like riding and like back shots that's like like yeah like that's the number one thing like i just love like what you just know what you're doing like yeah i haven't had many good eaters bro like i don't even let nobody do that to me for real but the couple i had no like like i said we not faking no more orgasms bro like we not doing that so yeah get it right or get up like bye like we not on that like what and that's another thing you gotta let somebody learn your body like they gotta learn your body and you know just do it right like you gonna, gonna i'm gonna just be guiding you now like go down further or like here like you know you gotta like some niggas really just don't know so you gotta let them know and just you know guide them a little bit so yeah but i but i ain't gonna lie though i am a good giver like i ain't gonna lie when it's like all mine like my freakiness going a thousand i'm talking about a whole different side of me come out when i know it's mine like all mine it's no limits bro anywhere anytime bro like yeah like i'm i'm just sorry like when it's all mine bro yeah yes as, absolutely like, that's just how i am when it's all mine what mm. but yeah i'm more of a receiver but uh i do give though when i know they loyal and do me right and you know yeah did you ever have to take a plan b oh yes i actually have I actually had to take two so i had two experiences <laughs> I had to take a plan B. Um, now, like, I feel like I was never really wild, but, like, like I said, when I'm really invested in somebody, that other side, just, like, what? I shock myself. Like, <laughs> I'll be shocking myself with what I'd be capable of. Like, girl, how you know how to do that? Like, you show out. Like, yeah, like, that's me. Like, I be doing my big one. Like, not gonna lie. So, but uh yes i had to take two in my lifetime so yeah <laughs> but eventually y'all gonna be getting y'all y'all niece i feel like i like 24 25 i'll be ready i wouldn't be mad um but yeah i want to live and travel a little bit and then you know get y'all a little niecey poo so yeah like a little miss marie like i need me a girl i don't want to be a boy mom i'm sorry like at first i do not want to be a boy mom i want to be a girl mom like period that's just me like what my daughter would be like so so cute dress her the cutest like she'd be she will be that like my daughter would be that like what please but y'all gonna have to wait for that in the future we may have time for that but yes i did have to take plan b's before a lot of the questions was more like repetitive so like 
I'm not gonna go into anymore. But it was shocking. I thought y'all were gonna be like, I know we doing spicy, but I figured y'all was gonna be like asking me stuff like, am I single? All the other stuff. Cause I probably won't be doing a Q&A in a minute, probably maybe towards like the end of the year or something like that. Maybe like a mukbang type style. But um, yeah, that is all the questions for this put myself in a hot seat y'all so y'all got to know a little inside of my life and just you know the other sides of me um so yeah but one thing about miss marie you gonna love it over here and that's just that like what you going to love it over here like i never got no complaints never niggas they can't never leave me alone ever ever okay period but y'all that is the end of this putting myself in the hot seat i hope you guys enjoyed it got to get a little inside of my other sides of my life you know what i'm saying you know we all grown here well a lot of us are so y'all get to know a little bit more about me you know we gotta change the content a little bit you know we get more mature and older so you know some things we doing are gonna be more like this and stuff like that so i love being able to talk to y'all like this and being able to let y'all know more about my life and you know what i'm saying so yeah but that was the hot seat video i hope y'all enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up let me know in the comments if we should do another one of these sometime soon maybe a couple months from now or if i should do it with somebody else like y'all let me know but the next video i want to do next week is going to be y'all control my life for 24 hours so y'all have to follow my instagram follow me on the instagram it's linked below we're running that next week probably early next week i'm not really sure what date but we're gonna run y'all run my y'all gonna run my life for 24 hours so i need y'all to be active and i need y'all to be responding pretty quickly because so we can get through the day nonetheless make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if you are not already join the flawless gang and stay tuned for more content we are so close to this 100k y'all and we are not taking no breaks we're not stopping i'm in full grind mode and when i'm in that mode i do not hop out that mode i be so locked and so focused like to let me get back in this mode was probably the best thing that i did and i'm so excited to really be able to just put out content now and really keep growing with y'all you know what i'm saying so we get back into the content back into the videos and just have some fun i'm gonna have some collabs on here let me know in the comments any more video ideas you guys have i would love to know what you guys want to see so with all that being said i love y'all so much i'm checking out and i will catch y'all back in my next video very soon bye everyone Mwah.